Hey friends, I hope you guys are ready for fall. I clearly am manifesting fall here. I am so ready for cooler weather. I'm over the humidity. I'm over the triple digit temperatures. So today we are talking all things fall Walmart fashion. So many good pieces. I feel like Walmart has just gotten better and better lately. Um, I'm gonna link right here the other video that I did for you guys with some Walmart fashion finds recently. But this video, if it's even possible, is going to be better than that one. I'm gonna have fully styled looks for you guys, color information, size information, is all gonna be linked in the description bar below. Make sure to follow me on other social media channels because I do upload a ton of other fashion content there as well. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I will be sharing full styled looks for you guys um, with everything, but I'm only gonna really talk about Walmart pieces, but I mean, everything's gonna be linked in the description bar below anyway. So first, this dress, because I don't wanna forget about it. Before I even mention anything, I do wanna say, you guys can probably see right here, there's like an awkward fabric that's kind of like pulling weird. I am wearing a nursing pumping bra, so there's like a lot of clips right here, and then it's like double fabric, so that is why it looks a little weird up top, but when this came in, it, I didn't have on a nursing pumping bra, I just had on like a regular bra, and you could not see this, so don't feel like, you know, it's gonna bunch weird around your bra, just know that's because I have on like a super thick kind of awkward bra, but this is literally one of my favorite Walmart sweater dresses I have ever purchased, and I really love their sweater dresses during fall time. I think the turtleneck mixed with the sleeveless detail is perfect because you guys know I live in the south so that fall transition weather is really my biggest concern because that's where I kind of sit for a really really long time. I feel like it doesn't even really get cold here until like November and this is just the perfect dress. It's the perfect length, gorgeous color, really good quality and it did wash and dry well in the sense that it didn't stretch, it didn't like tear up or anything, it didn't shrink but it did pill a lot. Very frustrating because I actually think it pilled like almost from another like it rubbed up against another fabric and I cannot just get it off of the lint roller. I'm gonna have to actually take my like full little, what's that thing called? I can't think what that little machine is called. I'm gonna have to take it all over the dress just because whatever it did rub up against, it really like got all over this. So just something to keep in mind. But apart from that, absolutely no complaints about this dress. It fits true to size, super, super, super comfy, but I just am really loving the like sleeveless with the turtleneck detail. I am so ready to be able to wear this this fall. I cannot wait to wear like this color, lots of dresses and boots and hats, honestly. So same thing with this dress here. It definitely like pilled some of the, like whatever was darker in the um, dryer. This one comes off a little bit easier. So I feel like a lint roller would get most of it, but I do still need to use the fabric shaver on it. But quality of this dress is definitely not as thick as this one. Still good. Didn't shrink up in the wash. Um, feels really nice and it does have like a real stretchy material to it. It looks very flattering on but this dress is just a lot thicker in my opinion than this dress but this one is also long sleeve. It has a slit in the bottom part of it and I just absolutely love the color of this. Creamy whites, burnt oranges, like taupes. Those are kind of my favorite for fall time and that's what I'm seeing a lot of at Walmart so I definitely had to grab this dress when I saw it. One more dress, and I actually wore this yesterday, so it's just like a denim long sleeve mini dress. I love that this has buttons on the front that kind of go down about three quarters. It has three buttons on the sleeves, which I also really love because I feel like I have really long arms and it didn't kind of reach the point where I like my long sleeves to hit. So I was able to unbutton one button and then roll it up and it looked really cute. It does have like a slight puppy sleeve detail at the very top of it. It's true to size. I will say this is definitely a shorter dress on me but I am five foot nine. I always wear um, like bike shorts underneath my dresses and this does kind of ride up a little bit when you sit down. So just keep that in mind. I always, always wear bike shorts and I always recommend wearing bike shorts with dresses because you just never know when the wind's gonna catch you right. You just don't know, so be prepared. And I feel like that was a really good call with this dress, uh, but really comfortable. This is gonna be a good fall transition piece as well. I love a good denim dress. So fits true to size. And of course from Walmart, I just love this one. I think this might have been the culprit. I think this was the one that caused all the black lint all over everything. But I got this because I have one that looks just like this from Amazon and I really wanted to see how the quality held up. I feel like they definitely are very different. The Amazon one is a lot thicker than this, but I feel like it can't be worn as a cardigan where this one can. Um, now this I actually wanted to style the same way. I wear the Amazon one. It is a slightly cropped, just three button cardigan with pockets in the front. It's a V-neck. The model 
actually shows it on with um, like a white tank top and it is open. So you really, like I said, could wear this as an open front cardigan. And I feel like the Amazon one is just super thick, but sleeve length is really good on this. This one I do. I believe this is the culprit. It's got like little orange pieces all over it from this dress. So I think these two just maybe didn't play well in the dryer, but apart from that, it actually did wash and dry really well. So I love this one. Very happy I got this and I love sweaters that you could wear open front or regular or closed and like, you know, a sweater of its own, which is immediately why I added this to cart. Like I said, creamy whites are a favorite of mine. Now this one does come in a lot of colors, but I wanted to get the white. This is just a slight little v-neck in lightweight sweater. It does have three buttons on it, but they are not real. You can't like open this up at all. It has really great sleeve length to it and it is a waffle material. I love the way this fits. It's really flattering. I did get my true size right now in this one. Um, I'm wearing a medium in like everything and it fits so flattering. It doesn't look too boxy or too big. I feel like you could wear this with leggings. You could wear it with jeans. Lots of different ways to style this, but it's just a really good casual or I guess more casual um, sweater option from Walmart. Now this is definitely a cropped sweater. It's from the Free Assembly line, which is one of my favorites at Walmart. Most of the stuff is from Free Assembly because it's also their um, more eco-friendly line. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing a lot of like light blues and kind of gravitating towards them more and I just adore them. The sleeves on these are really nice and this is a very thin thick sweater. Like this is definitely not one that's going to be, you can wear it, you know, when it's cool-ish, it's definitely going to be more, it's cold outside. I need a thick sweater. This is going to be what you're going to go for, but it is cropped. So not my favorite with leggings. You guys know I'm a big believer in having your booty fully covered in leggings. It's just personal preference of mine. So for this, I definitely will be styling this with jeans and like maybe even denim skirts. Um, but I love, love, love the material of this, the way it fits, how it held up in the washer and dryer. Just so, so impressed. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Walmart, you guys, just don't do it. So many people are like, oh, they're stepping it up. And I'm like, no, Walmart has been stepped up. You are just sleeping on it. Like Walmart has some of the cutest stuff. Now this is from the Time and True line. And I feel like the Time and True line for the most part fits me very true to size, but I did size up one to a large in this. I love the color. They do have a lot of color options, but this one is also longer in the back than it is in the front, just slightly. Um, long sleeve, it is very thin and lightweight washed and dried great, no picking, peeling, shrinking. I mean, this looks absolutely perfect. No wrinkles when it came out of the washer and dryer and it is a V-neck front, just so, so comfy. I'm telling you, time and true. You guys have heard me say this if you watch my Walmart videos pretty regularly. Time and true for basics is like, that's the perfect line at Walmart for just good, solid basics that are gonna last you for a really long time. Last sweater, I actually wore this on my Instagram last week and you guys went crazy over it because it is the perfect hoodie. Now this is a gray one, but they have again, tons of color options. I think they have a pink and a green. I did get a large, so I sized up in this one. Um, it does have drawstrings on the front. They just are kind of looped in the back, but it has a real hood as well to it. And so because I got the large and it is the time and true, it fits perfect oversized. I wore this the other day with bike shorts and it was super cute and comfy. Um, again, like their stuff just washes and dries great. So easy to throw on, so easy to style. This would look great with leggings um, and sneakers, great with like a pair of Ugg boots. I am going to be living in this because it is just so, so cozy. Now I've got some shackets for you guys and I am just a shacket fanatic. Ever since that trend came in, I wanna say it was like, was it 2020 or 2019? I think it was 2020 when we really saw those shackets take off. And I love them because it is literally one piece of clothing that you can wear at minimum two ways. You can wear it like a shirt or you can wear it like a jacket. You can wear it open front with just like a bodysuit underneath it with some jeans and booties, or you can close it, wear it with like leggings and some booties. Um, just so many different ways to style it. And this color is so pretty. It's a little bit more red. You can really see it compared to the dress that I'm wearing, but I would definitely still categorize this as a burnt orange color. Um, I sized up one in a large for an oversized fit. Again, I wanna wear it with leggings, so I feel like my butt needs to be covered. I love the way this fits feels. It's a corduroy material, just perfect for fall. Now the sizing on this one is a little bit different. This is a junior's line. And so I made sure I got a large, although this is already a long jacket because junior's lines tend to not fit me up top. I have a very large chest and very broad shoulders. So I find that like shoulders are even more narrow on junior's line. Got a large and I feel like that was such a good call. This is a, I've told you guys before, I don't love like long jackets on me, meaning like jackets that come to like my knees or past. This one just is a little bit past your butt. So not 
overwhelmingly long, you know, not, not gonna look more like a coat or anything, but still something I feel I could wear with like an open front, um, just like a t-shirt underneath it or close it and wear this as a top itself. I love the print of this. It does have two pockets on the front, buttons all the way down and is super, super comfy. And I finally found a pair of plain basic jeans at Walmart and I didn't get them in the right size-ish. So let's talk about sizing for a second. So I got these in an eight. Right now, it truly just depends on this line. Um, while I am back at my pre-pregnancy weight, I've told you guys, my hips just changed after I had a baby. So some lines I'm a true size eight, some lines I'm a true size six. And I feel like, although I knew I was a true size six in the time and true line, I was like, let's really go with the eight because I feel like these jeans look like they run small. And most of the time, I'm pretty good at guessing that. The eight fits me really nicely, but these jeans have so much stretch that I really could have gone with a six. Um, they have a zipper up the front, which let me zip that up because it's actually kind of annoying me. Here you go. You can kind of see it now. Just like lots of stretch in the waist. So I definitely could have gone with a six. That's what my true size like reads as on the chart, but I just wasn't sure because I've never purchased jeans from Time and True. Um, but the link to these are perfect. It's a really nice wash. Um, being five foot nine, I often struggle to find jeans that are really good, like link. They're really good quality. I mean, you just can't go wrong with these jeans because they are also crazy affordable. And then finally, I have a pair of sneakers. I have loved, so you guys know, I'm like a sneaker person. I love sneakers. I love a good solid pair of white sneakers. And I wanted to get something that had a little bit of detail on it that wasn't solid white because I have just like dark white sneakers. But I wanted something that actually reminded me of my Pure Stars. So when I saw this, let me grab my Pure Stars, I immediately knew I needed to buy these. So of course, the pure stars are the golden goose brand so they are very very expensive and they have leopard print on the back but you can see really the platform on the bottom of the shoe is kind of what i wanted plus if you just look at the top like i mean these look so similar except for how i have these tied so i love the platform these fit true to size um, i wear a nine and a half in these and they are memory foam so very comfortable and then they do just have a little bit of like gold detail to the back of them. I'd say that's like gold or rose gold maybe. Um, but just adds, you know, the perfect little amount of like beige to it so you can wear these a ton of different ways. And that is it for today's video. So many good fall pieces. I am so impressed with what I am seeing this year. I just feel like Walmart really did kind of you guys have heard me say it. I think they kind of sideswiped Target when Target was going through their euphoria like 70s phase and they seem to really get ahead. So don't sleep on Walmart stuff. Everything is linked below. Don't forget while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.